Hey there, good people of the world. My name is Cristana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you are not new here, welcome back friends and family. I say it every time, but I really mean it. I appreciate you guys and I appreciate you guys being here. Today we are going to do something just a little bit different. We're going to be doing kind of like art therapy and I'm gonna use a technique on this chest that is just, it's, it's therapeutic, really. Um, it's not hard and it really only, it, this is a squeegee, a window squeegee. So we're gonna be doing something that is therapeutic and we're gonna be putting colors together and I'm going to kind of walk you through why I'm putting the different colors together that I am. This piece right here is something that I painted a while ago but we are going to be repainting it. We will be using Daydream Apothecary colors. One, because they are super bright colors and they make me happy. So that goes in with color therapy and it makes me just, you know, I really like bright colors. There's something that it just sends a signal to my brain and makes me happy. I know that's not for everybody, but you guys can do this on a canvas as well. So this piece is really flat, so it's going to kind of mimic a canvas so that you guys can see you're gonna do the same technique on a piece of canvas if you really, you know, if you're feeling sad, just do this. I'm telling you, it's gonna make you feel better. All right, stay here. Because I am gonna be doing this on a piece of furniture, I wanna make sure that it's nice and clean before I go in and do anything else. If you're gonna do this on a canvas, make sure that you're putting down a primer, like a gesso or something like that. But this is nice and clean. So what we're gonna do is go in with Daydream Apothecary's Major Tom, which is a black. And I'm going to mix that in with salt wash, which is a texture additive. And that is what's going to give us our raised stencil. I am going to be using the stencil by Redesign with Prima, and it is called Something Geometric. It is one of their new stencils. And if you can see, I have a rubber brush, and that is going to help me spread that material once I create it right here. So we're going to mix the paint and we're going to mix the salt wash together to create a thick consistency. And that is what's going to give us our raised stencil. And then later on, when you guys see me creating a bunch of texture, that's what's going to create that as well. So we're going to mix these in really well with each other. When you're creating a raised stencil, you want to make sure that the stencil is flat on the surface and I am going to take a rubber brush and I am just going to smooth it across the entire stencil. Now you could do this with a paintbrush, you could do this with really, uh, you know, there's a lot of times they have the plastic paint scrapers, you can do that with this. I really like this rubber brush. You can clean it and reuse it multiple times. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm getting that texture additive mixed with the paint into the stencil and then I'm going to wipe off any excess. I'm going to pull it off and you're going to see that it's going to have a raised surface. I'm going to continue this on the entire piece with the stencil and this mixture and then I'm going to allow it to fully dry before I go over it with anything. When you're creating texture on a piece, you can think outside of the box. So what I did is I applied this texture medium that I created all over the piece on the top and the sides. And what I'm gonna show you here in a second is what I did on the top and the sides. So I'm just taking bubble wrap. Yes, you are not imagining things. Bubble wrap, and then this is a, wall, a wallpaper paste brush. I'm using that to create texture. I'm gonna use, you'll see me use a metal scraper. You're gonna see me use some paper towels probably. You can use really anything that you want to create cool texture. Just think outside of the box. And again, remember I said, you know, with art therapy, when you're using your hands and you're being creative and just, just doing, you're not even thinking about, oh, is this gonna work? Just try it. If you see something and you think it might create a cool texture, try it out, see what it's gonna look like. Thank you. 
here's what the top looks like after I have played around and created texture with a bunch of random things. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm going to do it on the side as well. And then once this is fully dried, I'm going to go over this entire piece with a coat of Major Tom. I'm going to give you a little bit of an explanation of what I'm doing here. I'm just taking different paint colors and I'm going to set it on top of the piece and I'm going to take a window cleaning squeegee and I'm going to make sure that that squeegee is kind of parallel to the surface so that it pulls down that paint but it doesn't squeegee it off. We do want to make sure that it stays on there so you can pull it as far down as you want. You're going to see me stop in the middle of the piece sometimes. You're going to see me drag it all the way down. Now. The whole purpose of this video is to really just give you something to kind of watch and just relax. So I just want you to know, I'm going to put on the screen the colors that I'm using, but this is really meant for you guys to just kind of get an idea of how you can just cre create art and you can do any colors that you want. This will work with any paint that you want. So just get creative. You don't have to get super bright and colorful like I am. You don't have to do this on a piece of furniture. You don't even have to do this. You could do this just to have some therapy and then later on repaint it. So just kind of sit back and relax and just see what I'm doing. And I am going to go over this vertically and then you'll see me after I'm done with all the colors, I'm going to go over it. I'm going to go over it in different directions just to create more texture.
Once the paint was dry, I sanded it just a little bit so I could expose that raised stencil underneath and pull a little bit more of that black. And then I sealed the entire piece with Daydream Apothecary's Dream Coat. So remember, all the paints that I used are Daydream Apothecary. So when you look at the colors, that is the line that I used today. And I sealed it with their Dream Coat. And that was it. This was a lot of fun and I really hope that you guys try something like this. It may doesn't have to be so wild, but you know, use your hands, get creative. All right, everybody, we are done with this piece. There you go. I showed you guys how to do a raised stencil. We did the redesign with Prima stencil right here, which is looking super cool. You guys are gonna see the, in the pictures after this video, I did some staged pictures. It really just all comes together. And then we did the, basically the whole line. We did the neons and the coastal line. There was only two colors out of the coastal line that I didn't use because they're darker. So we used both of those lines. You can do this with whatever colors you guys want. And if you don't, you know, whatever paint you guys are using. So we did a raised stencil. I showed you guys how to create texture as well. I'm going to pan the video over this so that you guys can really see how cool this looks. My goal here was to just kind of show you guys how you could just take a piece or you could take canvas or something like that and just let yourself go. Not everything always has to be perfect. Not everything always has to be what somebody else wants. When you're doing stuff and you just really need to just when you just need to really just be and let go. That sometimes is the best form of therapy. I am not a therapist. I do have a master's degree in psychology, but I've studied a lot on art therapy and color theory. And you know, again, I'm not a therapist. So if you need a therapist, go to a therapist. But this is something that would really, it just helps a lot of people. You just clear your mind, do what you wanna do. I think that being able to create the textures and using your hands, using your hands is a great release for when you're stressed out or you're having a hard day. And I think that sometimes that's why painting and creating with our hands is something that really helps us. Don't be afraid to just go buy a piece or grab something that is not even that great. And I know someone's gonna say, well, you're wasting paint on it, but taking care of your mental health is never wasteful. So find a piece, even if you repaint it, you guys have seen me repaint pieces over and over and over again. This piece is for me and it's not for anybody else. I don't care if somebody likes it or not. I don't care if somebody would put this in their house or not. It's mine, it, I created it, it made me feel good. And so that is what's really important sometimes when you guys are creating is to create stuff that just makes you feel better, okay? It's not always about selling things for people. It's not always about is this in the business? It's not always about making things perfect. Sometimes we create art because we need to for our mental health. Sometimes we create art, create art for ourselves. It's a personal thing. Creating art is a very personal thing for a lot of people. Sometimes we see people out there like me who put myself out there and put art out there and we think it's not a personal thing. But every single time that I touch a piece of furniture, it is very personal for me. And I understand that it's not always everybody's thing and that is absolutely 100% okay. But I always give every piece, everything that I have. And every so often I think that that's something that you guys should do too if you are needing just something to make you feel better. So with that being said, not a therapist. I do have a master's in psychology and I have a bachelor's in social psychology. So if you guys are having a hard time, make sure you go into a professional. With that being said, Happy creating, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.